Question 4 of the 2019 Sir Isaac Newton Physics Contest introduces us to Z cubed, who is jumping up and down his trampoline. Each time he gets to the maximum peak, he picks up a turtle, which has a mass of 10 kilograms. And at the very bottom of each jump, he lets go of that turtle. And if the first jump is 2 meters high, we want to find what the maximum height of its fifth jump would be. Since we're only concerned with the initial and final states of this problem, this suggests a conservation of energy. We don't care how these states um, get there, we just care that um, about the value of each state, because throughout this problem, energy is conserved. Let's break this up into a smaller problem where there's only one jump. Let's say that's z cubed, and he's holding a turtle at a height of h1. And it, uh, z cubed would gain uh, potential energy by grabbing onto this um, turtle. He'll jump, fall down, he'll let the turtle go, and as a result, he will jump higher to uh, a higher height. So that's the cubed without the turtle, and let's call that h2. We can connect these two states by using the conservation of energy equation, which states that the initial kinetic energy plus the initial potential energy is equal to the final kinetic energy plus the final potential energy. But at these two states, the uh, z cubed is at its highest point in this jump, meaning it's not moving, and thus the kinetic energy at both these points are zero. We're left with potential energy, which as a quick reminder, is mgh. The mass of the first scenario contains both the mass of z cubed, which is 60 kilograms, and a turtle, which is 10. g is g, and its height, we said, was h1. And its final potential energy, at its highest, second highest point, he, uh, z cubed's mass is 60, but he doesn't have the turtle anymore, so it's just 60. And then we have g, and then h2. Solving for h2, gives 60 plus 10 equals 70. We can cancel the g's. Divide by 60, h1. Or we can simplify this as h2 equals 7 over 6, h1. But notice how h1 and h2 are um, just... are not inherently special. It doesn't matter what number we choose them to be. That is, we can just write the general equation hn of the nth jump is equal to 7 over 6 of h of n minus 1. This gives us a geometric sequence. We can just plug in h1, which we know is 2 meters, and just recursively calculate h2, which is 7 over 6 of 2, and then h3, and then h4, and then it's h5. Or we can use the geometric sequence formula where h5 is equal to the starting value times 7 over 6 of 5 minus 1, which we will calculate as 3.71, which just so happens to be one of our answer choices. So, on his fifth jump, uh, z cubed will have a maximum height of 3.71 meters. Hope this helps.